Hey guys, welcome back to Skyblocks. It is episode 12, and we have just built a slime farm. So, it's not done yet, obviously. We still have some pretty big issues. The main one being the fact that the slimes can just jump off like that big one just did. But, we're actually getting quite good rates from it, because... Well, you know, there's no caves or anything that we had to light up. So, yeah, um, in today's episode, we're going to be getting this farm up and running at the maximum potential, hopefully. And we are going to be probably making a couple other farms. So, to start off, I am just going to add some rails so that, that cannot happen to the farm, and then we'll see what we do after that. Alright, so we have the um, rails up, and slimes are spawning, and yeah, we've got in actually quite a few slime balls while just building it, because yeah, they actually spawn at an incredibly good rate. Not when we're down here, but you can just climb the ladder a little bit, and then a whole bunch of them will spawn, or hopefully should spawn. There's a... nice, okay. Thank you for proving me right. So, now you're probably wondering what we're going to be using these slime balls for, and the answer is, um, not just slime balls and slime blocks, but also we can use some of them for transmutation. So, I think we should probably do some of that now. That would allow us to get, um, I think it's the last two saplings that we need. What types? Um, acacia and birch. Ew, gross. So you have gross acacia and... Okay, birch. Yeah. Birch is actually well, pretty good. It's nice to have them at least, so. Hey! I'm dead, thank you. You're welcome. All right, so I guess let's just do some transmutation. If you don't know about this feature, I think I showed it off earlier on in the series, but I can simply throw those things on it and yay, not, not useful. Don't really need a red tulip, but yeah, it's like a one in a cup. Well, it's actually a pretty low chance of getting something I do want, but interesting. I might get one someday. No, you'll never get one. Ever. <laughs> That's a jungle sapling. Not useful, but... Okay. Might as well get it. Get it, because... That's a slab. I just threw a slab at it. Why are you slapping it? Did I just get... I just got a poppy. By throwing it on a poppy. Way to go. So useful. <gasps> a birch sapling, yes! Okay, so there's one. Now we we'll just need to do it a couple more times. Hopefully. Huh! Cool, that's the first double tall flower I've seen. No, no it isn't. I saw a uh, um, sunflower. That's actually useful. Cool. Um, you're not useful. Yes, I was definitely so talking useful. about you. Okay, so now this I have grinder is kind of annoying, annoying in the sense that when you walk by, you just pick everything up. Yeah, we should put the hoppers. the mob grinder. We should put some hoppers down there. That would be good. Yes. yes what did I get? Um, dark oak sapling. Don't need it. Oh, oh, we already have them. Yeah. Okay, well, I'm just going to keep doing this till I find some, because you guys don't really need to watch, see. Watch the boringness. Yeah. Finally, finally, after many, many long, well, like Actually. one minute, 
No, not even one minute. <laughs> we got the acacia sapling, so there's yes. everything that we wanted. All right, so we used the slime blocks that we got to make it this. Now, it's not done yet, because we still need to add a wall along here, but this is obviously just a sugarcane farm, and it uses a bud switch right here, so when this grows, it will activate. Then the redstone signal comes through here, pushes these pistons, and then that launches the sugarcane into a wall. They will just fall right into the water stream, and then go right into this chest. So, what we need to do now is choose a block and make this wall. Now, I don't really have any ideas for what type of block to go with, but... Because we're kind of out of quartz, that's what I would normally go with. But I might just... we have some glass, so I think... Maybe white glass. No, I don't want to use my bone meal that way. Yes, you do. Mm, no, not really. Yeah, you, you, you might want to. So, yeah, I guess... Well, I'll, I'll choose a block and fill you guys in when I do. Well... Actually... I guess I'm not actually going to do that. Instead, I'm going to watch a football game. Though, that already happened. But, yeah, how I watch a football game is I watch the game while doing something else. Because most of a football game is just advertisements. So... Yeah, I did quite a lot of work, because it's multiple hours just doing nothing. So, what did I get done? Let's see. Number one, my sound is off. Um, let's fix that. So, this thing has been producing some sugarcane, but not all that much. I need to um, make the wall one thing higher, but I just went with glass, because glass is pretty good. Um, and then, oh, you can see here, I got myself some tools. This one's really cool. It's a efficiency 5 diamond axe that lets, oops, lets me um, harvest these with instant mine. Really useful. And so this pumpkin farm is about going to be replaced. I need to replace it as soon as possible because pumpkins are really useful because um, of farmers. But what else did I do? Let's see. So I expanded out this grass platform by quite a lot. And I'm thinking of putting like a little village on it because that would look pretty nice. And then have like a nice path running through it to maybe over there and over there. So like have it come out here, have the path run through to like go over there. And then get different houses along there. What else did I do? Um, let's see, in one of the previous clips we got both the saplings, but that's right. So I decided that we don't need the sorter anymore because so if you remember this it's the um mob sorter we had a we had a villager a dog and a cat over here and they would scare the creepers and skeletons into to sort them out and the zombies would come this way fall into their own pit but it was very inconsistent or inconsistent i should say so I replaced it with this. Yeah, it's quite literally just a bunch of hoppers right there. Nine of them, to be exact, but actually more than nine. Because if we come down this way, we can actually see quite a lot more than nine. So what I did, I piped them all into a dropper right there, and then did the hopper dropper thing, if you haven't seen this. What it does is... This one puts it into that, and then that pulls it out. If you're following where I'm looking, but... It basically just saves three hoppers. 
Yeah, and then this comes into the chest here, but it fills up really quickly. So... The main thing that I wanted from this was just the um, rotten flesh and bones, because they're actually quite valuable, especially for um, trading. You don't you trade you could trade the rotten flesh, but you could also trade the well not trade the bones. You use the bones as bone meal to get lots of carrots and potatoes and stuff to trade to farmers. So. That's what I did, um, it didn't take that long, maybe like three or four hours, but, so now I probably should just, um, AFK for a while, but, let's see, one thing that I did plan on doing, if we look, no, we can't quite see it from here, there we go, the slime farm down there, it is really, 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 efficient, but inefficient. Now, I'll tell you what I mean by that, and what I mean, we get lots of slime spawning down there, but we don't kill them at all. So there's this cool trick where you place a cactus with the iron golem situated above it. Oh yeah, and witches don't die to this thing. So anyway, you have an iron golem, like, down there with a cactus beneath it. And it, all the slimes get mad at the iron golem, go and attack it, or try to, and just end up hitting the cactus, because slimes are stupid. And then all their- they split up and keep splitting until they die. And then you get all the slime balls, because you can collect it with a hopper. Or eight hoppers. But... Yeah, I'm probably going to make that at some point, but for now, I think I'm just going to AFK here for a little while. Probably like, uh, maybe three to four hours, and I will catch you when I am done. Alright, I am back from my AFKing. Um, I was AFKing over there, and then I decided to go to the nether and do a little bit of AFKing there. And I realized we had a whole ton of gold swords. So I crafted them all up into undamaged ones. And now I'm just going to uncraft all of these. A weird thing is our redstone doesn't really seem to work in the nether, and I have no clue why that is. So, if you do know why redstone is not working in the nether, then if you could please tell me, that would be great, because I should just be able to anvil these right in the nether. But I can't, because it doesn't work. Anyway, I made a whole lot of swords, but I was wanting just to, like I was saying, to anvil them there, but that didn't happen. And I'm a little frustrated, but it's not that big of a deal. It just means I need to run back and forth a lot of times. So anyway, I am going to uncraft these, and I'm going to show you what I got from AFK. Alright, let's see what we got from AFK for quite some time. I think it was around three hours. Okay, so I did sort these just a little bit. So this one's mostly full of arrows, though it doesn't work perfectly. I've kind of just been sorting them out, you know, just to, to sort it out, because I like doing stuff like that, but these hoppers and stuff will get the stuff behind them, but let's see, what I really care about are these bones, 
and um, the rod and flesh is also pretty good. And I don't mean for eating, I mean for, um, for having. So I've already taken a massive load of bones over and yeah, that's basically what I got, I guess. We have lots and lots of rotten flesh. And what else? Well, obviously cr a crazy amount of um, gunpowder and just some random stuff from here. That's always good to have, random stuff. Because, yeah, that's what Minecraft is all about, getting random stuff, right? But anyway, um, wow, there's a lot of this gunpowder. Am I going to fill up the chest? Almost. Also, these sticks are actually quite useful, because now I don't ever have to really craft sticks. Which, while they're not expensive, they're just kind of a pain to craft. So, now I'm going to take all of this stuff. Um... Yeah, awesome. So, what do I need to do now? Um, so I need to drop off this stuff. Boy, that's a lot of lapis. And, um, hmm. So one of the next things I want to get going is um, a pumpkin farm, an automated one, that is again going to use slime blocks. Then I was wanting to get an automatic slime farm going, that would be cool. But if you look right here, we are all out of iron, but I did get quite a few emeralds. But for now, what we need to do is take our bones. Um, bones are over here. And we are just going to absolutely fill the carrot potato wheat farm. And here I actually need to grab some potatoes. Um, I'll just grab a couple. And then, then I can come over here and AFK for a while. Well, kind of AFK and get myself loads of carrots and potatoes which in turn will get me lots and lots of moolah well i mean money so here, let's throw some random stuff in here really quick okay because yeah last time i did this i completely drained it i want to set up a system with um like a hopper leading in but, as of right now, I don't really have the hoppers or the iron, but that's what I'm that's what I'm working on right now. So, in the future, we should be getting hoppers for this. Okay, and then I need to eat up, turn it on, and you've seen all this before, so... Yeah, I'm just going to make another cut here, and we'll have loads of money. Hopefully. So, it's about that time to wrap up the episode. So, I'm going to do a little recap to remember what we did. So, let's see. We made a slime farm. And... What else did we do? We AFK'd for quite a while. We modified that farm way over there to be an automatic farm. We also um, AFK'd in the nether, got ourselves a bunch of gold, and we built some platforms and stuff. We chatted and, hang and hung out for quite some time, and we got various other stuff done. We got ourselves kitted out with gear and emeralds, and we died. Yeah, that happened too. But anyway, I think I'm going to end off the episode here. 
If you've liked the episode, make sure to metaphorically smash that like button. Don't literally smash it, just metaphorically. And I will catch you guys all in the next episode. See you all later.